This is the uh, Delonghi EMK4 espresso maker and one day the unit stopped powering on if you press if you connect the unit you can hear a noise but there is no indication of the LED so we have to troubleshoot and figure out the problem So if you flip over the base of this coffee maker, you will see that it's held in place by two screws. And uh, if you take a close look at the screws, you can see that they are not the usual type of Torx. In fact, this is a type of a security screw because it's a Torx with a round part in the middle that acts as an obstacle. And uh, you need something called the security um, bit like this and you can find that on the internet and I bought a set like this with many types of uh, security bits to work on different type of security screws so that will make things a lot easier and uh, here it comes off one and here comes off the other and these screws I already loosened them before I started this video so now you just have to pry open the cover of the base take a screwdriver and pop open on one side and then the other side and now you can see the inside of this base. Make sure the power is unplugged and you can remove this PCB easily. And you can see it's made of two PCBs that are connected by a simple cable here. And uh, they're held in place by two clips, one on this side and one on the other side and you just have to find the plier, squeeze them and open them by pulling them apart once the clips are loosened so you want to use the plier to push the clips backward another one actually there are three clips so try not to squeeze them too hard avoiding avoid breaking them okay so here's one here's okay so now you can separate these two PCBs and this is the uh, unit that controls all the uh, buttons on the front as you can see there's a LCD and a few buttons with the LED and the buzzer and sometimes when I plug in this unit the LEDs will come on and they will flash but nothing will show on the LCD which means the 5 volt is being delivered to at least these three LEDs and why the LCD doesn't show any information I don't know at this point upon examining the circuit I noticed an interesting thing the power supply doesn't have a transformer after further research I realized it's a capacitor based power supply which is uncommon in most electronics but sometimes found in appliance due to the need for space saving and cost saving the advantage is that this type of uh, power supply is smaller and cheaper however 
sometimes it can be more dangerous than a transformer based power supply as the main is not isolated from the circuit however here you have three wires and the plug does have a ground that goes into the outlet so in most cases it should be fine and I'm sure the designers have considered this when they designed the power supply so at the beginning I suspected that the relay was causing the problem of the unit not powering on and I replaced the relay with an another unit however that didn't solve the problem so I suspected that the capacitors were at fault as it commonly happens in this kind of um, power supply so I replaced these two capacitors and this big one here is a 275 volt 0 0.47 microfarad or 470 picofarad film capacitor and the small one is a 275 volt 0 0.047 or 47 picofarad capacitor and these are most likely class X2 film capacitors used f often in power applications uh, such as surge protection and here's another electrolytic capacitor which is 35 volt 220 microfarad so after replacing these two class X2 film uh, capacitors I decided to test the voltage level uh, right now it's not plugged in but I can just tell you for information purpose of the values I got from them it seems that this small capacitor of 47 microfarad or 0 0.047 microfarad is the main capacitor that steps down the voltage because the voltage that comes through here directly from the main source uh, to these two points are 220 volts and when I tested this bigger capacitor of 0 0.47 microfarad I only got about 3 volt and sometimes 4 volt so I felt it was very strange that the voltage is so low that it's not even enough to power 5 volt digital electronics uh, that it's attached to so I decided to check the electrolytic capacitor and it seems like the electrolytic capacitor was bad and I replaced the 35 volt electrolytic capacitor and after I replaced it I took the measurement of the voltage again across this bigger film capacitor and this time I got about 12 volt I don't know if that's the original value which it should have since this is a um, uh, broken board but I think that's close to the power regulation needed to drive this relay anyway even after replacing all three capacitors the board still doesn't function at this point I decided it's most likely the IC on the digital uh, control board is damaged due to the high voltage so at this point I decided it's not really worth the time to troubleshoot or replace the IC and I don't even use any of these features all I need to do is to brew coffee so here is the completely removed electronic control board with its attached power supply and now the uh, main power cord and its wires are connected directly to the base of the coffee maker and the brown color wire is the positive the blue color wire is the negative and um, just make sure you reassemble the base before plugging in to the wall outlet and you can make coffee just by plugging in the power cord into the outlet and when you put the pot on top of the base it should start the coffee process automatically and when you're done just unplug it and don't leave it on since now I would connect this directly on the base to make the coffee 
There is a question: What happens if I leave the coffee maker on the coffee base for too long after the coffee has been made? Will will it cause overheating or some kind of、uh, electrical problem? And I asked myself that. So I checked the bottom of this, and、um, you can see it's actually very simple design. With the、uh, water heating unit connected to the、uh, live wire and、uh, the neutral, and here you find this. If you flip open this connector to the base, you see here inside here is a、uh, fuse. This is a interesting type of fuse. It's called a thermal cutoff fuse, which means When the current is applied through the fuse, and the fuse heats up to a certain temperature, it will automatically cut off the current. Most likely, this one is a metal alloy thermal cutoff fuse. With this type of fuse, when the temperature lowers, it becomes conductible again, and when the temperature rises over a certain degree. It breaks off the electrical connection, so it's a resettable fuse. And with this type of fuse, you can be assured that the pot won't overheat, at least not if you leave it for a short period of time after you make the coffee. Anyway, since you use it like any other water heater, based on this type of design, it's best to unplug it after you're done making the coffee. And it's no less safe than this unit with the electronic control unit working. And with this simple design, you have fewer components that could go wrong, and you have a working coffee machine again. So here, I will plug in this unit without the control electronics and brew a pot of mocha. Just have to put this on the base, and it should start automatically, as it's already plugged in. However, there's no indication because there is no electronics and no LED behind this panel. You just have to wait for the coffee to brew and finish. Should take a few minutes, and the coffee is coming out. Slowly, And that click sound you heard was the thermal fuse sh shutting off. And now I can unplug the unit. And enjoy my coffee.